Hey everybody, Ed with Dual Brain MTG here, and this is it. The inaugural box break on the channel. What we have here is an Odyssey tournament deck brick. There's 12 in here. Yeah, let's do this. This is it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? And here we go, everybody. This is gonna be for a future one. Very cool, just got this in the mail. All right, so, this is an Odyssey tournament brick. Uh, we're breaking it with the patrons. So this is pretty cool. There's 12 decks in here. Each of them has 75 cards. And in each of those are three rares, 11 or 10? 11 or 10 uncommons, I'm not sure. So yeah, 11 or 10 uncommons, a stack of commons, and and a stack of beautiful lands, actually. These have some of the nicest basic lands in the game. We're gonna, on the first one, we're gonna take a look at the lands and the commons and all that, and slow roll it. The rest, we're gonna go right for the rares. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This set, is basically a foil chase, okay? How sick is that, guys? That's gotta be the freaking uh, thumbnail, right? Right? How awesome. That's cool looking. So this is a, a foil chase. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start like this and go like that. But who's gonna get it? It's gonna be random, so yeah. So any enthusiasts out there who want to follow the order of the rares or whatever, or where the foils are, you know, this is like, kind of like archival at this point, this type of footage, you know, like how many times is this going to get open on camera again? Not too many. So yeah, let's check this out. Run a tournament and players will line up to do battle for you. Here's your tournament, right? Some information cool put it up here I have top loaders for big hits I have uh, penny sleeves for the rares I may have to find more now most of the rares aren't crazy value most of them aren't worth much except for the foils the foils are crazy if you look at card kingdom right now they're uh, they're buying some of these things for 350 bucks. You know, that's that's kind of crazy. I, I saw a $50 common. Daniel P is first. A $50 common. And uh, like a couple of $50 uncommon. So yeah, pretty crazy. So where is the pull tab on these guys? Okay. I need somewhere to put the garbage. One second, guys. Otherwise, this will be a mess. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put the cards back in here and ship it out in a Ziploc bag. This is too big for a team bag. Oh, see, so this is what's different about Odyssey. And I was gonna say this. Foils on top. Rotting giant. Very sick. I'm gonna put that right into a sleeve for Daniel. Any foils are going in top loaders. They deserve it. They definitely do at this point. These things in good condition. Well, this is, you know, about as good condition as you're gonna get. Yeah, I know it's not a, let's see. Ooh, that's nicely centered, but look at that edge. It's a little rough factory edge right so that's the thing I, I you know can't stress it enough a lot of cards that come fresh out of packs and this is an uncommon this is pretty major way to go Daniel um, I need a team bag also to put that in I'll do it at the end I'll do that at the very end okay so let's go over these I do believe the rares are here so wow look at that Damage. Whoa. That's interesting. Hold on. Oh, wait. That's two cards. Look at that. It's like someone bit it. 
That's crazy. The machine did it. Nuts. Let me put that on top so it doesn't mess up the other ones. All right, let's check out some of these gorgeous lands. Look at that. I mean, you can't get much better than these basics. This is like classic magic type art right here. Very, very sick. Oh man. Rob Alexander. Mm hmm Yeah, like serious. So yeah, this came out in 2001. The Space Odyssey. <laughs> Maybe uh, they had humor, and that's why they came out with Odyssey then. Anyway, this is uh, this is cool. I've only ever opened up a few packs of this, so yeah, I wasn't uh, wasn't uh, collecting around the time of Odyssey, so this is cool for me. I don't see how the rares are after here. There's like. Unless it's like rares and then commons, I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see how this first deck uh look at this freaking land how sick is that with the lightning and everything you know what are you doing you're just chilling out under the tree watching the storm like come at you bro go get some shelter <laughs> all right we're starting to repeat some of these lands but they're so good is this whole stack this whole stack can't be lands because that's a tremendous amount of lands let's see that yeah, see but that's a good card. All right, so now at least we have a handle on the order here. Aboshan, Cephalid Emperor. So this is pretty decent. Nice. Karmic Justice, second rare. And Savage Firecat. Let me just check here to see if those were any hits. I don't know. Aboshan. I, I, I remember his name. Doesn't mean he's worth anything. Just because you remember the name, he's got a crazy name. Yeah, so these aren't crazy ones. We are looking for, when it comes to uncommons, like the, the lands, like Cephalid Coliseum. That's a good $5 hit. Ooh, the Atogs. Thalmatog, yes. Mm -hmm. Bashed you bits. Yeah. Balshan Beguiler. So yeah, there won't be any foils in here. They put them at the top. Still life. Zombify. Zombie Nation. Even Archer. Any, you remember that song? Any uh, club kids from around this time? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I'm uh, dating myself a little bit. Cabal and Clu so now it's commons. This is like this is such a strange order to this. So then there's more commons. That is oddball. Let's put that. So I got this from Card Kingdom, and in here you get this little guy. You know, a little uh, tell us how we're doing. <laughs> And I will include, of course, you got this. Instead of a rule book, they have a rules insert. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Along with more DCI information. I guess they were trying to, well, that was good stuff for a while. So let's take a look at some of these comments now. And then after this one, we're not going to really look at the commons. We'll be looking at the, the rares and uncommons and, and, you know, foils. Ceasefire. Patrick Swordsman. Touch of Invisibility. Primal Frenzy. Innocent Blood. Oof, look at that freaking vicious art right there. Life Burst. That's like, her face is very real looking. <laughs> Whispering Shade, oh man. Angelic Wall. Demoralize. Greg and Tim Hildebrand. I remember somebody telling me he was like Lord of the Rings because I found um, 
some cards that were like fantasy cards. Look at that. But without being magic. And somebody was saying in the comments, they were saying how, yeah, something about uh, Tim Hildebrandt being a famous like uh, illustrator for fantasy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to speed this up. We're already 10 minutes in, so yep. I'm gonna start shutting up and start doing this first. Jesus, look at that guy. Okay, guys, we gotta hurry up. So yeah, this is cool. This is the first of hopefully many. I intend to do um, one to two interesting box breaks a month, you know? I, I, I'm not uh, huge into opening some of the newer stuff. I find a lot of it to be repetitive, like the foils and everything. It's, it's like, okay, yay, more lands, more land foils. Yes, yes, we get it by now. Right, guys, you know? So, yeah, I, I'm not so interested in that. So, I hope to do one to two interesting box breaks a month because uh you know because <laughs> all right so then uh most of how we ship this is going to be via um uh, what's it called small flat rate box i need to pause this i'm gonna leave everything here okay i'm back nothing moved all right, so, Daniel, congratulations. You got the rotting giant foil. Very awesome. You know, I tell people I'm doing things, but they call. <laughs> yeah, I would have expected it actually to be my brother, which is kind of funny. Oh, oh, I didn't pick out who's uh, number two. We need to do that. All right, who is number two? Cold Paw, good guy. Check him out at Cold Paw Card Collecting on Instagram. If you heard that noise, that was just my dog knocking over my garbage. Thank you very much, buddy. I like you too. But this is not the time. Oi, I am having a rough time with this, huh, guys? Freaking puppy. <laughs> oh, looks like Cold Paw got a foil. Congratulations, bro. Buried alive. Is that a decent hit? Hold on, let's 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 take a second here, guys. We gotta check it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah! Wow! Way to go, Cold Paw. This is like, dude, Card Kingdom's buying this card for fifty-five freaking dollars. That's what they're buying it for. Yo, sick. That's what I'm saying. This is about the foils. Very awesome. Oh my God. Puppy, 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 what are you doing? Go lay down. <laughs> okay, so the rares are in here somewhere. I'm just gonna cut it. Mm -mm. Lands, 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 clicky doggy. Okay. And we got a cephalid retainer. Squirrel Mob, I believe this is a decent hit. I will look it up and put it here afterwards. And the need, the need for speed. Mm-hmm. His feet buckled the ground, his hands cut the wind to ribbons, and he was gone. Loquatus's creativity. Sarkatog, more Atogs. Vivify, whoa. It reminds me of like the Avon Galleons when their eyes would. Uh, never mind. You have to watch it. Buried alive. Way to go, bro. Sphere of Reason. He's a good guy. He deserves this. Mossfire Egg. Sweet. These freaking mana rocks. Look at this. Two. That's not bad. That's like a mana fixing puppeteer. Mana fixing mana rock. I don't know how to describe it. So. Let's put it down like that. Put the rares back and the lands back. 
All right, now we're cruising along. That second one was barely any time. Cold Paw, congratulations. Go check him out on Instagram, Cold Paw Card Collecting. So the way these box breaks work, this is for patrons only. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I, I get the best deal I can. Sometimes I'll get good deals. Sometimes it's just Card Kingdom pricing, but I do what I can to get good deals and bulk deals and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I, I take the, you know, I divided it by 12 and that's how much one of these costs. The, the PayPal fees, whatever, yeah, we uh, that's added in the shipping. You guys pay for it, but I'm not trying to make any money on this. I think this is just fun and great for the channel. Holy shiza, look at that. Another freaking foil. You see it flashing away in there? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Good thing I'm doing this randomly. I gotta remember to do that first. If it's me, I'll put it back in. <laughs> okay, Doc Labrador. Good guy, Doc Labrador. Doc, why oh, can't I freaking speak? Doc Labrador. Oh, there it is. The foil rare. Vampiric Dragon. I do not know if that's that crazy. I mean, the problem, oh, oh, this is a 65, <laughs> Card Kingdom's buying this for 65 freaking dollars. Congratulations, Doc Lab, bro. Way to go. This is what I'm talking about. These foils, man. This is awesome. So yeah, I was in this for two um, starter decks, but I, I guess a, so one of the patrons, he was on vacation and he asked me to get in on it. And you know, he's a good guy. So I'm like, whatever, bro. I know you missed it. It's fine. You can have one of mine. But I'm gonna keep, I wanted to open one and keep one, right? I was going to, if we didn't run into the foil rare, I was gonna open mine, but I think I will keep mine sealed to commemorate the event. This is my first box break and this is very cool. Dark Order Catacombs, this is a couple of bucks. Shadow Mage Infiltrator, Infected Vermin. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 so there's only two rares because of the foil rare. That's sick, bro. Infected vermin. Steam claw. Spiritualize. Yo, that is some freaking art right there. Dwarven recruiter. Predict. Squirrel nest. Got them squirrels. Oh my god, do you see what he's holding? <laughs> Barbarian ring. If I'm not mista mistaken, that's a few bucks. Pain bringer, tattoo ward, mm. shower of coals. All right, primal frenzy. Man, this is sick, guys. So let me say thank you for, you know, let me have the privilege of doing this. I know that a lot, not a lot of people get to do this, and you know what? I gotta take a whiff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good stuff. That's some good stuff right there, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Everybody's getting foils. I feel like Oprah just handing out foils. You get a foil, you get a foil. But no, I know it's not gonna be like that for the rest of them. The foils back in the day were rare, guys. This is unusual. We're getting lucky here. So what you can expect from an older box like this, Matt. At the Crazy Matt. Check him out. He's got a good channel. He talks about, you know, card games, TCGs, like we all like. Uh, yeah, so definitely good stuff. Yeah, so what you can expect from a box like this, when you if you open it uh, yourself, is probably um, like four to six foils. Holy foil nation. What the hell? Four to six foils, I was going to say, but we're already at four. You know, that's kind of crazy. An upper edge of foils is like eight. I mean, it's it's just a planes, but still, you know, it is an old school foil, bro. It deserves the protection. It deserves it, okay? So let's talk about Tainted Pact. That was actually, uh, you guys know Josh. He's been on the channel. We had some discussions. 
That was actually Josh's pick for a buyout once. And he drove it up to like 80 bucks, but they reprinted it in Strixhaven. All right. Oh, wow. I cut it right at the rear the first time. Cabal Shrine. Look at that place. Um, I don't want to hang out there. I like my place better. Master Apothecary. Therese Art. Very cool. Battle of Wits. Mm hmm. Matt, you got the Oh doggy doggy, please. Relax, buddy. Battle strain. Predict. Nantuko Elder. Execute. Zombify. Gallantry. Dwarven Strike Force. Balshan Griffin. Twigwalker. Patrick Swords. Wow, he's making a mess. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go put the puppy upstairs. He wants to hang, but he is okay. You know what? He just sat down. Never mind. Never you mind. He knocked over my garbage. He's pushing it around. He's got an ear infection, so he's got a cone on. <laughs> he's like a bulldozer. <laughs> Oh, he looks so sad with the cone on. <laughs> I should have been smarter about that, huh, guys? Now I gotta clean up all this freaking garbage. <laughs> like, can you imagine my, you know, 70 pound pups or 65 pound pups just with a cone on, just pushing around stuff and knocking over garbage and then just pushing the garbage around? Tom M, this is for you. Yeah, that's what's going around here, going on here at my feet. It's kind of funny. It's really silly and really ridiculous. And thank you, puppy, for you know making this interesting. Get out! No way. That's not okay. No effing way. How is that possible? Oh, and he's got one of these. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I call these misprints or not. But check this out. This is a common foil of a land, which is awesome. There's so many lands in this. There's an uncommon, common, and rare cycles. Look at that. I, I mean, that's got to be a misprint, right? Or is it like the foil layer didn't cover the whole sheet? It covered, I don't know. This is, I've seen this a lot, though, on these older foils. It's almost even a different color after the line. It's crazy, crazy. So, Tom, you got some cool stuff in that. Very cool example. Uh, let's see if I could do it. You think that's the rare right there? Uh, no, that'd be sick, right? <laughs> Puppy sitting. Oh, a tog, a tog, a tog, a tog, a tog, a tog, a tog. Legend. Very nice. Very nice. Savage fire cat. The cognivore. Yo. What are you? You're a Lurgoyf. Oh, Tarmogoyf, uh, Zombagoyf, whatever the new one was. But yeah, that's a Lurgoyf right there. This is a good one. Centaur Garden. I know that's a couple of bucks. Still life. Malevolent Awakening. Yo, that's um, Patriarch's bidding. What's his name? Childhood Horror. Beloved Chaplain. Engulfing Flames. Pulsating Illusion, Metamorphic Worm, Phantom Will. Very cool. Wow. I can't believe the amount of uh, foils in this. This is getting uh, a little crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. You ever watch Key and Peel? What a show. Freaking awesome. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Hey, Aaron. <laughs> oh my God. And if you haven't seen it, do see it. It's freaking awesome. So yeah, if you guys want to get in on a box break, check out my Patreon. This is what's going on. These guys have been around and been supporting for a long time. I know I've been late to the game with the, uh, the box breaks. I, uh, you know, I had some stuff I had to handle, and I handled uh, my pins and everything, too. So I gave everybody a pin as a thank you for being there. All the patrons who have been there for a while. OK. 
Okay, what is these? Paul at Centerpiece Collectibles. You may have seen him in some of my videos. Go check him out. Very good guy. Uh, we have some interesting conversations. He has an interesting, um, oh, this was, this is going to be a tough one, eh? He has a, a perspective that's, he's very, uh, He's got like a high volume, that's the word I'm looking for, high volume. Oh my God, what is with this? I don't understand why every pack has foils in it. This is like crazy. Leaf Dancer. Um, yeah, Paul focuses on like, uh, not focuses, but he's got like a major business dealing with high-end cards and stuff. Uh, very cool guy, very cool channel. Go check him out, he's new, so show him some love, give him a sub, you know? But uh, yeah, so he doesn't focus on magic like me, but he spreads it around. Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. Talking this long is making me, you know, some cotton mouth. <laughs> he buys sports cards and MetaZoo and all types of interesting stuff. So yeah, he's got quirky stuff. If you like quirky cards, check him out. He's, he, and he gives a lot of, you know, information. Like I try to do like real, real solid meaty data decimate gravestorm oh that's a good card i think it has yet to be reprinted i am going to give this one a slip so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to put these two in a team bag and i'm going to put that like that against the tournament deck so it's protected as it gets shipped this is going in flat rate boxes so yeah this is going to be very much protected bubble wrapped the whole nine buried alive good one sphere of reason nomad stadium battle strain predict good card that in foil is like money money roar of the worm zombify gallantry dwarven strike force immobilizing ink squirted from your friendly uh local cephalid into your face Mm -hmm. uh, like, I, I can't believe how many foils we're getting. This is like craziness, actually. I'm gonna do this. Every freaking halfway through, so there's six left. Every freaking one has had a foil. That's, I don't know, that's lucky. This video is getting long. I might do. A part two so I'm gonna pause it here